Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we try to see a DIY project, science project, electronic project. That is nothing but as in controlling the water tank level by using the motor and Arduino board frames. So this is the project. We now the motor is on, the water flow is going into the tank frame. So this is a simulation of a water tank and this is the sum and that is the motor. Now the water level is filling up. You can see it over here friends. The tank is filling up. You can see it over here friends. See this project in a detail friends. For this one, what are the resources that are required? The first, the most important one will be the ultrasonic sensor. You can see HCSR04. I have taken as a female to male. So this is the first one friends. The second one will be the in order to pump the water we required as a motor with the five friends you can see it this will be controlled with the five volts or nine volts but in our case we are driving the nine volts friend this is the water motor friend the most important one will be the third one we are using the arduino uno r3 you can see it over here friends so in order to control the motor by using this relay friends the relay is the bridge between the Arduino Uno and the motor friends. The motor is operating at 9 volts friends. The 9 volts battery, you can see it over here friends. So with a clip of this one, you can see it over here friends. So, for some of the things, I have taken the cardboard to make the things as a simple. And last but not least, I am taking USB A at one side and USB B at one side in order to flash and get the power from the laptop friend. So these are the required resources and along with that one I need as an, an, a one jar it is simulating like a tank. Another one is a bowl which is simulating like a pump uh, water sump friend. So these are the required resources friends. Now let us see the connection diagram friends. You can see the UNO R3 and this is ultrasonic SCSN04. This is the relay this is the water motor and this is the 9 volts battery friends now let us do the connection friends now let us take the hcsr04 so now i am taking from 5 volts you can see it over here friends okay i am taking and i am hand overing to the vcc friends and in the relay also we have it as in a vcc first one will be the sorry the first one will be the signal the second one will be the VCC. The third one will be the ground friends. So now again I am taking over here. And handovering on to the VCC friends. Now let me take from the ground. And here I am give, going to give to the ground friends. Okay. Now again this ground. Okay. You can uh, see it over here. And this ground. I am extending, I am giving like this and handovering to the ground of the SC SR04 that is ultrasonic. From 11, you can see it, I am going to give to the trigger and from 12, you can see it and I am going to give to the echo. Now, ultrasonic connect, ultrasonic <coughs> sensor board connections is completed friends. Now, let me take the third pin, you can see it over here. Okay, now I am going to the signal of the relay. Now, let us complete the relay part. So, this is the 9 volts. This is the positive side. I am going to give to the comp. Okay, you can see it over here. And this envo, I am going to give to the this signal. And this ground, you can see it over here. And hand over into the ground of the 9 volts friends. I am not connecting to the NC. I am connecting to the Envo friends. So now trigger pin is connected to the 11, echo pin is connected to the 12, signal pin is connected to the 3. So these are the uh, connection. So when we are making this as a height, then this 9 volts is connected over, over to motor and this will pump the water friends. If I am making as a low and there is a disconnection between the 9 volts and the motor friends. So this is the connection diagram friends. 
I have opened the Arduino IDE 2.1.0. In order to complete this project, new ping library, we need to install it, friends. Trigger pin is 11, echo pin is 12. Sonar is a class instance, trigger, echo, and maximum distance is 100 centimeters we have configured. In the setup function, we are initializing the, we are initializing the UART. And the pin mode 3, that is, that is nothing but the controlling the relay. We are making as output in the loop function we are measuring the distance from the top of the uh, water tank and if it is less than four centimeters then we are turning off the motor friends the rest of the cases we are turning on such a way that it is automatically checking the water level to make motor on or off based on the, the level the water level present in the water tank friends by using the ultrasonic sensor data board friends now let me go to the sketch verify and compile it and you can see it is successfully compiled it friends. into the tank friend so this is a simulation of a water tank and this is the sum and that is the motor and now the water level is filling up you can see it over here friends the tank is filling up you can see it over here friend now you can see the water level is coming up until unless the water level is less than 4 centimeters or uh, 5 centimeters it automatically turn off the motor friends you can see the led is making us on so now you can see it over here friends now the the motor is turned off and the relay is turned off and now you can see the water level now it is less than as in a 4 centimeter friends you were one like and one comment and one subscribe that will give a lot of boost and motivation to make better videos friends thanks for watching this video please like share comment and subscribe to our channel friends